Panda's date range. So say you have a start time and an end time and you wanna get a series of times or dates that happen in between them. Well, that's what Panda's date range is for. And so let's take a look at how you generate that series of dates or times. First thing that we'll do is we'll import Pandas as PD. And then I'm going to create my first date range. And this can actually happen pretty easily. The way that you do this is you call PD, which is Pandas, dot date range. And there's two things you need to specify absolutely. The first one is gonna be a start time. When do you want your date range to start? And an end time. When do you want your date range to end? Now you'll notice here that I'm doing January 1st, 2020 to January 6th, 2020. And by default, pandas will split my dates up by the day grain, so one day at a time. Go ahead and run this. And what we get is we get a date time index. And this is gonna be a date on the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And our frequency is day. So we gave it a start time and an end time, and pandas split us up per day. Okay, but what's cool is you can actually tell pandas how, um, how frequent or what you want your frequency to be to split up your dates by. And so in this example, I'm calling date range again, and I'm still calling it on January 1st, but I'm also gonna pass a uh, time information into my date range as well. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end on January 1st, but I'm gonna end at 24 minutes past midnight. And in this case, I'm gonna specify my frequency to be 6T. Now, you may be wondering, what's this 6T all about? Well, there's actually a really cool set of what they call offset codes. And these offset codes are going to be the frequency at which you split your data. And T equals minute. In fact, I will put that right here. T equals minute offset. So when you have minute offset being split, um, and you put a six in front of it, this tells pandas that I wanna split my data every six minutes. Run this, and you can see here we start at our start, but then we go six minutes out to 12 to 18 to 24. So we told pandas to split it by six minutes and it, result, and it gave us that date time index back. Next thing that we'll do is instead of telling pandas what um, frequency you wanna split by, so instead of telling it that you wanna split by six minutes, we can tell it how many periods we want. And a period is gonna be how many buckets we have. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five buckets. But in this case, I'm gonna specify periods equals 10. So I want 10 buckets. I'll run this. And as you can see, you split up your data into 10 different buckets or timestamps that it returns to you. And this one happens to be split every two minutes and 40 seconds. Okay. Um, so what's actually really cool is there's a lot of different frequencies that Pandas gives you in order to split by, and they're actually very business analytics friendly. So let's take a look at what these look like. The first thing that I'll split on with my uh, options here is going to be, I'll start on the first, I'll end on the 10th, but I'm gonna specify B, and this actually stands for business day. I'll run this, and I'll get the first, the second, the third, but then all of a sudden it jumps to the sixth. And that's because the fourth and the fifth were weekends. And so Pandas knows to actually skip those in our date range, which is nice. You can also split by week by specifying frequency equals W Run this. And here I split it out till March 10th. And so we get the fifth, the 12th, the 19th, and these are the weeks in between the first and March 10th. You can also specify by monthly time grain and so here we'll specify uh, M for month end, which is gonna be the uh, date times in between the 1st and uh, April 4th, so the 31st, the 29th, and March 31st. And you can also specify month start. So say you didn't want January 31st, you wanted January 1st. Well, then you just do month start. Go ahead and run this, and you can see we have Jan 1, Feb 1, March 1, April 1. Um, what's also nice is you can do quarters. And so here I'll specify from January 1st to December 1st, but I wanna split up by quarter. And here we have the quarter end, which is you know March 31st, June 30th, September 30th. You can also do quarter start, which is gonna be um, the beginning of the quarters as well. And then lastly, don't forget that you can actually put in a number in front of your frequency, your frequency and it's gonna expand that frequency. And so here I'm going from January 1st 2020 to December 1st, 2021. And I say, I want to split my uh, time periods by every five months. 
go ahead and run this. And you can see here we go from January 1st to June 30th to November 30th. This is kind of a random time interval to, to be splitting by, but just to show you that you have the full flexibility on this. And that is Panda's date range.